What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Anil Sharma and you, you are watching Anil Learning. So guys, I'm back again with a video for you guys and we are going to be starting where we left last time. Now in the previous video, we started off with a chapter from science known as Animal Fibers. In that video, we discussed four topics of the chapter and today we're going to be discussing five. I'm pretty sure this this chapter will be finished in one or max at max two videos. So guys, let's get into today's video. The first thing that we're going to be studying about are animal fibers. Now we all love to wear clothes. Some of our clothes are made up of an, uh, chemicals, synthetic materials such as nylon. But some of these, uh, some of our clothes are made up of natural fibers. For example, woolen clothes are made from fleece of sheep. Now these are found naturally, so they are known as natural fibers. There are two major types of natural fibers, plant fibers and animal fibers. Let's start off with plant fibers. Now the most widely and loved fiber is plant fiber is cotton. We all know it, we all love to wear cotton clothes. Some more examples are flax, hemp and jute. This is flax, hemp and jute and they can be turned into very beautiful clothes. Now guys, the building block of plant, the building block in the plant world is cellulose. For example, the building block of our hand or our body is known as a tiny thing known as a cell. Our body is made up of trillions of cells. The building block of our house is bricks. And guys, in the same way, the building block of plant fibers is cellulose. The, the, all the plant fibers are majorly made up of cell, cellulose. Let's talk about animal fibers. The mainly two most widely used animal fibers are wool and silk. Wool comes mainly from fleece of sheep and also animals such as camel, yak, rabbits and silk which is a very loved and nice material for clothes is derived from a silk worm. These are made up, the, the building block of animal fibers is proteins, which is a complex compound in all of our bodies. This right here is a silkworm and this is silk. This is a photo of a sheep and these are woolen clothes. Let's talk about wool. The hair on the bodies of wool yielding animals traps a lot of hair because there are, the, if the material of in the wool, there are a lot of air spaces between, so a lot of air gets trapped inside it. Air is a poor conductor of heat. That's why we prefer, prefer to wear woolen clothes in summer, because there a lot of hair is, air, <laughs> air is present inside of it, and it uh, pro protects our body from the cold outside. Uh, by a poor conductor, we mean that only. There are two types of wool, the coarse bared, bared hair, and the soft under hair. Let's talk about the coarse bared hair. This hair is found on the top of a sheep's body and it is rough and hard. This fabric is not generally used for uh, making clothes or blankets etc. So it is generally thrown away. Let's talk about the soft under hair. This is the good type of hair and it is nice and soft. It, it is used to make all, it is used to make all the cotton material things such as blankets clothes etc clothes but uh, but sometimes scientists have found a ways to make sheep only produce the soft under hair this gives the people who are rearing sheep more wool per sheep and because they are rearers and herders they do not get paid very much so they actually need this really 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 badly Let's talk about the different types of wool. Now there are different, different kinds of wool yielding animals such as camels, goats, yaks, rabbits, etc. Let's talk about camels, alpaca and llamas. They are basically the same thing but a little bit different. The hair from these animals is spun into yarns to produce clothes. These, cam these fabrics which are belong to the animals which belong to the camel family are extremely soft, lightweight, and warm. Let's talk about the 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 material, the clothes made from goats. One of the best wool of goats is known as cashmere, which is extremely expensive, lightweight, resilient, and easy to dye fiber. Looks perfect to me. It is combed only once a year. That's really rare. 
from the bellies of the from the bellies of the Kashmir gold. Only the bellies, no other parts. So like once a year and only the bellies. That's a really less produced. These are only found in the mountains of Tibet and China. This is a Kashmir goat. Yak. The wool which is derived from yak is, is mostly popular in mountainous areas like Ladakh and Tibet. It is warm and resilient. Perfect. Let's talk about rabbits. The most popular rabbit wool is Angora, which is derived from Angora rabbit. It is extremely soft, fluffy, and warm, just like these rabbits. It is an extremely expensive fiber and it is really nice for making clothes. Thanks for watching guys. That's going to do it for our today's video. And guys, it's really fun making these videos. So guys, I would really appreciate it if you give it a like and subscribe down below. And guys, if you want me to make videos on any specific topic or have any feedback, leave it down in the comment section. Goodbye.